Hi there, Capture One has just released the new AI masking tool and it's mind-blowing. You can now mask any part of an image in a matter of seconds. Simply hover the new AI select cursor over any part of the image and you will see the generated AI mask for this area. If you need to mask all the elements at once, you can draw a box around them and AI will create a mask for the whole subject. Also, you can zoom in on an image to mask the tiniest image details such as eye whites, iris or even reflection in the eye. Moreover, you can now select a group of images and mask their main subjects or backgrounds in a single click like this. These AI masks can be saved in styles, allowing you to quickly color grade image backgrounds or adjust the main subject in your shot. By the way, I have prepared a set of free styles with AI masks and later in this video I will share them with you. So, the AI masks are just fantastic, but the new Capture One release brings even more features including the Snap to Eye Focus tool, Retether, new reset options, the ability to duplicate layers and various other improvements. I think this is the best Capture One release in years and I have prepared for you a detailed overview of all the new features. But first, I have some exciting news for you. I have already published more than 4 hours of Capture One tutorials in my new Capture One Expert course. You will learn how to work with advanced Capture One tools and image editing techniques such as color channel curves, precise manual levels correction or portrait editing with the Dehaze tool. We don't spend time on basic Capture One capabilities in this course. Instead, we discover hidden features of Capture One tools and learn how to get the maximum out of them. And by we, I mean dozens of Capture One photographers already studying in this course. I will invite you to our closed community where you can ask me any Capture One questions share your images and discuss raw editing with like-minded people. Also, you will gain various bonus materials and 40 raw files for image editing practice. You will get a chance to challenge your Capture One knowledge in quizzes, show off your image editing skills and get individual feedback from me. Finally, at the end of the course, you can get a certificate of completion. So, start watching the course free of charge at alexandro.com slash expert and become a Capture One expert. Now to the new Capture One and first let's talk about the naming. You might have noticed that I still haven't mentioned Capture One 23 or 24 or any other sequential number in the title of this release. Well, it's because this new release is called simply Capture One Pro and it has a version number of 16.3. This is it, just Capture One Pro version 16.3. As I understand, this is the new Capture One naming policy. Yep, folks, I have so many questions here as well, but in some sense this makes things simpler. At least we now have only one number in the naming, which is the app's technical version. Ok, now let's talk about something we can actually comprehend. AI masks. There are two ways how you can work with the new AI masking tool. First of all, you can activate the new AI Select Cursor here. When you activate this cursor for the first time on your image, Capture One will analyze your image and create the AI mask. Now you can hover your cursor over any object in your image like the straw or this glass or coconut or this flower. If you need to mask all the objects at once, you can draw a box around them and Capture One will create an accurate AI mask. 
This feature is especially helpful for portrait images. Just keep in mind that every time you zoom in on your image, Capture One will regenerate the AI mask. So here I'm going to create a new layer and I will call it Skin. I will add face and hands to this mask. Yeah, really accurate mask. Next, I'm going to create a new layer for the jacket. Yeah, let's select it. Okay, and yeah, maybe maybe the belt as well. Yeah, perfect, really accurate mask. And now I can apply any adjustments. Let's say I would like to increase contrast and clarity of the jacket. And also I would like to increase exposure a bit. Yeah, like this. And for the skin, I think it makes sense to make it a bit brighter. Like this. And maybe a slight white balance correction will make it better. Yeah, like this. And the same way you can mask even tiniest details of your image. So for instance here, I will zoom in on this eye and Capture One will again recalculate the AI mask. And now I can easily mask any part of the eye, including the reflection in the eye, iris or the eye whites. So for instance, if you would like to add a bit of clarity to the eye, Let's do this. Clarity and contrast and a bit of HDR as well. Yeah, easily. Just easily. And the same way you can easily mask your model. So for instance here, I would like to mask the jacket only and now I will color grade it a bit. Something like this. Yeah, looks really nice. And keep in mind that these AI masks are regular masks so that you can easily erase them or refine them or even invert them like this. And apart from creating AI masks, you can also erase masks with AI. So all you need to do is to select the AI eraser. And now you can erase objects the same way as you draw them. So for instance, you can erase a single object or hold down the left mouse button to erase a group of objects like this. And similarly, you can erase large areas in your image like this. And again, it takes just a couple of clicks. Still, in many cases, you just need to mask your model or background quickly. And here we have two extremely useful tools, mask subject and mask background, and they work just as you expect them to work. So just click subject and Capture One will create an AI mask of this subject in your image, like this. And the same with the background tool, just click background and Capture One will create a new layer and mask the background here. Best of all, these features support batch editing. So let's select several images and now just click subject. We need to wait a bit. And Capture One will create masks on every image. Like this. And again, these are regular masks so that you can easily adjust your mask if needed. And the same with backgrounds. So for instance, let's select these two images. And when I click background, Capture One will create new layers on all selected images and create background masks on them. Now let's test AI masking with more challenging images. Uh, here I have several shots with unnatural poses and a weird geometrical object. Okay, let's see how Capture One AI will deal with them. I'm clicking subject to mask the model only on every selected image. And let's wait a bit. Okay, it's done. Yeah, at first glance looks really impressive. Let's examine the details. 
Yeah, really, really nice. Well, there are some issues like here and there, but again, it's absolutely uncommon image and the pose is really weird and all this geometrical objects and lightning and yeah if capture one has handled such difficult images then i'm pretty sure that it can handle almost any image and another killer feature is that you can save subject and background masks in style so for instance Let's take this image and I will create a background mask yeah, like this. And now I'm going to color grade it in a cyan look like this. Also, I'm going to add a bit of clarity and maybe additional contrast. Yeah, like this. Now let's save it as a new custom style. Make sure to include the background mask into this style like this and I will call it cold background. Okay. Now I'm going to select these two images. I will reset all the adjustments and now I'm going to apply this cold background style. This style will create individual AI background masks on every selected image and apply color grading to them. Like this. Let's see what we have here. So the first image, yeah, we now have the background mask and again it's individual background mask and also we have all this color grading adjustments and the same here the mask is different and as you can see the mask is also pretty accurate so using this feature you can easily create custom styles that will auto select your model or background and apply saved adjustments I have prepared for you these 10 styles that contain various color grading adjustments and AI masks so that in a single click you can easily color grade your background or adjust model in your image. You can get these 10 styles just by subscribing to my Capture One newsletter at alexonrod.com slash mask. And apart from these 10 styles, you will also get 55 additional styles for Capture One. Another exciting new feature of this release is Retether. It allows you to disconnect your camera during tether shooting, take up to 300 images to your card, and then you can connect the camera again and Capture One will sync next capture adjustments and next capture naming according to your preferences. Currently, Retether is available only for Canon and Nikon cameras. Also, Capture One developers have enhanced the focus tool. It can now auto-detect an eye or a face in the image. There are two modes available, center to eye or center to face. So now you don't need to manually search for an eye on your image to check the focus. AI will handle this for you. Another extremely useful update is ability to duplicate a layer with the mask and adjustments. So previously we were able only to copy a mask from a layer. Now we can duplicate selected layer and we will copy not only the mask but all the adjustments of this layer. In addition to this, Capture One developers have also added several new reset options. So for instance, you can now reset the crop only, like this. Or you can reset everything except composition, like this. Also, you can now reset any speed edit key by holding down this key. So let's say for contrast, I will hold down the W key and pressing spacebar at the same time, like this. To reset saturation, I will hold down the R key and press 
the spacebar. And the same works for any other speed edit key. So here I will reset my HDR corrections, like this. Also, you can set custom shortcuts for new reset options. Just look for reset and yeah, here is reset crop and reset everything except composition. Also, you can now use a shortcut to change aspect ratio. Plus, you can now quickly switch between brush and eraser using the Alt or Option keys. And it works for all brushes and erasers. So, for instance, if you will choose the new AI Select tool, you can hold down the Alt or Option keys and you will switch to AI Eraser like this. And the same works with uh, Magic Brush. You can quickly switch to Magic Eraser. And with the regular brush and regular eraser. Finally, Capture One Live has got several interesting improvements. So, for instance, you can now share multiple collections and also there is an ability to leave in-app comments. You can read about these and other improvements in my blog post at alexandra.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and please feel free to share your opinions on AI masking in the comments. And don't forget that you can start watching my Capture One Expert course free of charge at alexandra.com expert.